In this lesson, I want to explain how to control the pixel artworks that you import in a Moho with a vector. If you, we have two ways to import in Moho vector uh, artworks that here you can control the points. You can, if you boning, you can correct the issues, everything that you want. But if you insert or import a pixel image like this, as you can see, this icon PNG JPEG, we are pixel. And as you can see, we don't have any point control here like this. We don't have any of them because they are pixel and we cannot control them. If you create a bone for that, for example, this is our bone that's it's better to create it here. Right click to group them with selection, right click and convert to the bone and simply create a simple bone for folding that. And as you can see, it's uh, simply correct that. And as you can see, if you face to the, this issue, you cannot correct that because you don't have any point control. Well, I explained it before. You can come to bone and create a smooth pair for um, per bone. You can do it here. It's working, but I want to explain another way. You select both po po two um, bone, then select the layer that they are connecting to that, and then go to the bone and create a smooth zone for pair. And as you can see. I explained it before going to the bone folder and select it and uh, go to the manipulate. And that's, as you can see, it's correct that issues very well. But uh, in this case, uh, I don't like that and I want to correct it manually. For doing that, we create a, uh, something like this around our uh, shape and convert it to the pixel vector. We insert an empty vector, it's a mesh. You can call it mesh if you want. Go to the here and uh, before drawing, you have to understand which part you want to has a more point. I want to hear more points. So we begin from here. Don't forget to make this sharp corners and auto fill or on or off. It's not very important, but it's better to turn it on. And simply click and I create more points. And you can come back and add or delete points if you want. I create more points there and it's not important for these parts. Just creating a shape around that and you can come back and add point if you want. It's not important, just we can after that mm, need more point here. Okay, oh, nice <clears throat> to better control our artwork pixel. Boom, and this is our object. And as you can see, this is that. And I have to go to the draw and triangle it to the mesh and it convert to the mesh. Can see it's convert to the simple mesh and be careful about that it has to be something like this and it doesn't have any hole in it it this it's it shows it's correct then i have to go to uh, settings of, of this image double click and we have an image tab here and this is called a small smart warp layer and you have to assign the layer to to that and if you hit OK, as we can see, it's converted to the mesh and uh, it's hiding from viewport. It's, as you can see, it's uh, turned gray. It means it's hide. And now if you select that mesh, that points, you can control this point. Actually, we attach these points and this shape to our pixel image. That you can control. But as you can see, you cannot. Because for controlling the points, you have to be in a timeline one. And now, as we can see, we can control our pixel image because we attach these points with, uh, with, this, with this smart warp layer for warping our layer to the layer two, which is layer two? Layer two is here, the, that vector mesh that we created. 
and it's very important you have to convert this layer to uh triangulate to the mesh triangulate three angle three part three mesh <clears throat> And now we can control it. It's very simple. Come back to your uh, bone. Oops. Make sure that you are in a zero. Come back to your. Come back to your bone. What happened to our bone? Okay. What happened? An important thing. I forget that. As you can see, this is our bone, and it just uh, it just uh, adjusting the PNG. And as you can see, if you go to the manipulate, it does not work because we connect this to the that layer. And this mesh layer is out of our bone layer. So you have to click and drag it inside our bone layer. And then it's very important. You can come back and as you can see, uh, we can correct that issue. Select that and you can simply... Uh, correct that issue there so for doing that it's better to create an action and be in a one because if you select point we are coming back simple select that and as you can see here you can uh, create but as you can see it's create a um k for us that we don't want that that you have to create an action for that for example in this folder i delete all of them okay frame for this folder i create an correct action for example for that bone and as i explained before you can refer to the previous lesson uh, we create an animation for our bone an animation for bone and i tell the action okay i animating i animating just click on there i animating this part for example to the this to the this part and then uh, i want to correct that layer also and store that so you have to correct these issues by actions it's all about a smart action and you can correct that issue something like this if you want we're attaching that png and going to the main line and then going to the bone uh, manipulate it as you can see we fixed that issue or if you want you can uh, correct it more so we correct this with a smart bone that i explained it before so if you use uh, this structure as a correcting that issue you can uh, doing that or you can simply come back to here and for example if we have a timeline like this as you can see it's there and it's come back to this come back to the layer and you can again uh, more um, correcting if you want nice or we can completely something like this and then come back and then go to the our bone manipulate it and create something like this if you want nice so you learn how to control the pixel artworks with a uh, vector points we connect this to the this and for correcting that issues we have a lot of work we have to create an action and i explained it before tell the action okay in this animation in this this is an, another timeline for our point i explained it before you can previous prefer to previous lesson i tell the um, smartphone okay if you move such a this way please correct our underneath layer like that in this uh, frame range the frame range is not important just the movement is important if we move our bone in this way it corrects issue with a layer that we connect to the pixel and you have to come to 
last layer and then select your layer and correct you should be careful about that going to the last layer uh, working in a moho i think it's very hard and confusing but if you correct if you work a lot you can learn better that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.